cradle. In the heart of a great forest lived two peasants who, more than anything, wanted a baby. At last, in the middle of winter, a baby daughter was born to them. They called her Kath, and though they worried about bringing her up in the wild and hazardous forest, neither of them said so. Then one night, as they bathed their baby, they heard wolves howling in the snow. It's the wind, they told each other, just the wind in the trees. But they both knew it was wolves. When a sudden knocking came on the door of their little hut, they hurried to open it, not wanting anyone to be locked out on a night like that. They found an old beggar man sheltering under the porch. On his back was a threadbare canvas sack. Your pardon, good people, he said, but may I sleep here tonight? This is bitter weather to travel in, and the wolves are hunting in the forest. I gladly. Come in and welcome. They drew the old man over to the fire and bolted and barred the door behind him. The old man thanked them for their kindness, but said little else. He sat up late that night, long after the good couple had gone to bed. In the dying red light of the fire, his eyes kept turning to the rough wooden box that baby Kath slept in. At last he smiled and opened his sack. From it, he took some twenty sticks. He laid them out carefully on the hearth, muttering under his breath. When Kath's parents got up the next morning, there was no sign of the old beggar man. But the baby lay sleeping in a lovely cradle made from lengths of a dark wood they'd never seen before. I can't think how he got out, the woman said. Everything's still shut fast and bolted. Never mind that now, said her husband. Come and see what the old man's left us. I swear, no baby ever slept in so grand a cradle. Grand it certainly was, but it was strange too. There were no nails in it and no joints. Finally, Kath's parents stopped thinking about the strangeness of it all and were just glad that their baby had so fine a bed. Even in winter there was work to be done outside. The goats had to be milked and fed, firewood and berries to be gathered and brought home. So it was that Kath was left alone, sometimes for hours. She was comfortable in her little crib and warm in front of the fire. both went out early to fetch wood. Baby Kath lay quietly, watching flames flickering in the fireplace, until suddenly the door flew open with a crash. A huge bearded man stood there with a vicious axe in his hand. He looked around the hut, then strode over to where Kath lay. There's not much for me here, but I'll take their goats. And their baby, too. He got no further, for at that moment, the cradle stirred and shifted. The bandit jumped backwards and stared in disbelief. The cradle fell apart before his eyes, lowering Kath gently to the floor. Then all the sticks jumped up on end and joined together in a new shape. Two stood firm to be the legs, while the others jumped up to make the body, arms and head. The last was a wooden sword. As the magic stick soldier came towards him, the bandit gave a mighty yell and swung his axe. But the wooden soldier dodged and brought his stick sword down with a crack on the bandit's head. With a howl of terror, the bandit ran to the door and plunged out into the snow. The stick soldier watched until he had disappeared into the trees, then closed the door and went back to the hearth. The sticks fell apart around Kath. Some of them slid underneath the little blanket she lay on, while the others made walls all around her, 
or legs for the cradle to stand on. Winter passed slowly into spring. Often Kath's cradle was moved outside while her parents did their chores. One day, when they were both out in the forest, Kath chuckled happily, kicking her little feet in the air. But deep in the forest shadow, something heard her chuckling, something that was feeling very hungry after sleeping all winter. It came out from the trees at the clearing's edge. It was a huge, grisly bear. It padded quickly across the clearing towards Kath's cradle. But quick as it was, the magic cradle was quicker. In a trice, it dropped to pieces so that Kath landed on the ground with a bump. Then all the sticks shaped themselves into a cage around her. The bear stopped and sniffed at the wooden bars. It tried to fish through them, but its paw was too big. It tried to bite them, but they were strong as iron. The old grizzly got so angry, it stalked off into the forest. Meanwhile, Kath's parents had found bear tracks in the forest and turned home. But when they got there, Kath was sleeping peacefully in her cradle. Despite all the dangers in the forest, Kath grew up safely. Her parents kept her old cradle, just in case they had another baby. But finally, her father said, Put this out on the wood heap, Kath. I'll break it up tomorrow when I've got time. But next morning, when he went outside, there was no sign of the cradle. All he could see was a line of tracks leading to the woodpile and away into the forest. They were the tracks an old beggar man might make if he was walking with a stick. Or a wizard leaning on his staff. <laughs>